the hare and the tortoise. The tortoise was the most cunning of all the creatures, but the hare was the most boastful. He boasted time after time about his exploits. If it wasn't about his long majestic ears, it was about his smooth fur. If it wasn't about his fur, it was about his cute paws. If it wasn't about his paws, it was about his long whiskers. If it wasn't about his whiskers, it was about his adorable nose. And all the animals had heard just about enough of him. Once he started talking about himself, he just would not stop. He would go to the extent of even spreading rumors about himself and his awesomeness. He always looked down on the rest of the animals and had no reservations in insulting them just to make himself look good. One of the animals that suffered Hare's constant humiliation the most was Tortoise. Hare never passed an opportunity to disgrace and make fun of Tortoise because he was slow. He persistently called Tortoise old and haggard, a plodder and a worn out sluggard who crawled everywhere he went. Tortoise would retreat into his shell with shame because he couldn't find any suitable way to insult Hare back. Everything about him seemed virtually perfect. And since everyone knew how he got his uneven shell, his confidence had slowly begun to wither. He therefore thought for many days how he could put Hare back in his place. And eventually, he came up with a brilliant idea. All he waited for was the perfect time. One day, Tortoise was sitting peacefully by the stream when Hare came by. Hey, old hag, Hare said, mocking him, trying to cross the stream. Life must be ridiculously boring for you, since it takes you forever to cover just a few steps. I, with my super speed, would have been on the other side by now, he chanted. Tortoise tried his hardest to ignore him until he couldn't take it anymore. You are such a disrespectful young fellow here and I can't take your insults anymore, said Tortoise. I therefore challenge you to a race. Maybe it is then that you will learn some manners. Hare rolled on the ground and held his tummy in laughter. When he eventually caught his breath, he accepted the challenge telling Tortoise that without lifting a paw, he had already won the race. They fixed the date for the day after the next market day so that they could invite all the animals to see the race. Word quickly spread throughout the land about the ridiculous race with many telling themselves that Tortoise was mad. A select few, however, told the others not to underestimate Tortoise since he seemingly wanted to redeem himself of his previous shame. Everybody waited in anticipation for the exciting day. Hare made it his personal responsibility to spread the news throughout the kingdom. Tortoise, on the other hand, made proper preparations for the day. He was constantly spotted exercising for the event while Hare jeered him on. However, Hare was not aware that Tortoise had secretly gone to see all his relatives and instructed those that resembled him the most to stand at certain positions in the bushes throughout the racing course. The day finally arrived and all the animals assembled at the starting line which was also the finishing. The agreement was that the pair would race past all the milestones surrounding the land so that they could end up back at the starting line. The one who made it round the land and crossed the line first would of course be the winner. Some of the animals had made bets on who would win the race with most placing their stakes on hair. Lion, the king of the jungle, officiated the event and Elephant blew the trumpet for the two contestants to begin the race. Off Hare went in a hurry, laughing his way to show victory. But lo and behold, a few meters ahead of him was Tortoise. Hare could not believe his eyes and almost thought he was hallucinating. Tortoise chuckled at him and told him to run faster since he was ahead of him in the race. Hare picked up the pace and very soon told himself that Tortoise reached that point by sheer luck. But another surprise awaited him yet again. 
Turning one corner, he once again saw Tortoise ahead of him. In bewilderment, he gazed at Tortoise and caught up with him. Tortoise looked his way and said, I am still in the lead. Maybe you should increase your pace. Hare in a confused state ran past him, but still met Tortoise once again before the baobab tree. You're not running fast enough, Hare, Tortoise said. Are your paws tired? Hare dashed past in annoyance, but shockingly met Tortoise once again close to the bushes by the same stream he had previously mocked Tortoise at. Hare did not even wait to hear the sarcastic comment Tortoise was going to say to him. He picked up his pace and sprinted past him. Not as fast as you thought you were, Hare, Tortoise shouted after him. Two more times did Hare meet Tortoise once again, with him always in the lead. Eventually, Tortoise could feel his strength being sucked away from him because of his fast pace and was just about to faint when he saw the finishing line. But alas, all of the animal's attention was on something else. Tortoise had just crossed the finish line. Elephant was blowing his trumpet in amazement. Young kudus were skipping around in excitement and hyena laughed with joy since he won most of his bets while talkative parrot personally took the responsibility of relaying to everyone Hare's disgraceful failure. Hare crossed the finish line and hung his cute ears in shame. He pitifully went home and wished over and over again that he had never boasted to anybody, teased anyone or had ever been proud. He therefore was never heard to boast about himself again. He had learnt the hard way that the most weakest, quiet and unexpected people could actually be full of surprises. Tortoise, on the other hand, went back home and hosted a huge party to celebrate his victory. The End <laughs>